Hi everybody, my name is Joey Fight from thephysicaleducator.com. Thank you so much for tuning in for this episode of The Phys Ed Show. So in today's episode, we're gonna be geeking out a little bit. I'm gonna be showing you a really sweet feature that I just recently discovered in Mac OS Mojave, which has really made it easier for me to be able to create customized assessment tools for my students. This feature is called Continuity Camera, and in this video, we're gonna be breaking down exactly what Continuity Camera is, how to use it, and how it can be applied in physical education. So I stumbled upon Continuity Camera as I was designing resources for my Grade 3 Gymnastics Unit. Now in this unit, my Grade 3 students get to explore different balance concepts, such as center of gravity, base of support, body alignment, and muscular tension, as they design and perform their own partner balances. So as I was putting together all the different assessment tools for the unit, I wanted to design this sheet called the Amazing Balancing Act Sheet. And what I wanted to have on the sheet was, in one area, a photo of a partner balance being performed, and then in another area, an area where students could break down that balance based off of the four concepts that we've explored in class. Now as I was putting the sheet together, I realized that it would be so much more fun that instead of having an image I just pulled from the internet showing the partner balance, Instead, have a photo of the students themselves performing that balance that they then get to mark up and look at and analyze using the rest of the form. Now, to do that though, this is a problem because the only way that I knew how to do it was, first of all, to get my students to perform their balance, then take a photo of their balance with my iOS device, airdrop that photo to my Mac, uh, insert the image into the document, and then try and crop and resize the image so that it fits the template that I created, and then finally print it out. Now to do this, I wouldn't be able to do it within one lesson. It'd be too distracting and too time consuming. So I would probably have to do it towards the second, uh, the second half of one lesson and then pick it up in the following lesson. But I didn't want to do that because we're a little crunch for time and I wanted to make sure we were getting things going here. So instead, this is when I discovered Continuity Camera. So here we are in Pages, and if you've been following my work for a while now, you'll know that I really like using Pages, Keynote, Numbers, the whole iWork suite to just quickly create assessment tools that I'll use in my teaching. Now what you see here is the amazing balancing acts assessment tool that I created for this grade three balancing unit. Now where you see the partner balance photo section here, this is just a placeholder image that I placed there for now. And my goal here is to get my students to come up with a partner balance and once they demonstrate that they're able to hold still while maintaining that balance, I will then want to take a photo and add it into here. But we're gonna use continuity camera to be able to do that. So the way that you use continuity camera is you select the image that you want to um, replace, you right click, you go import for iPhone or iPad, and in this case, I'm gonna be using my iPhone. And then you're gonna see that it's gonna say, take a photo of your iPhone. Now, when you look at your iPhone, it automatically launches the camera app and invites you to take a photo. Once you've taken the photo, you have the option to either retake it or use photo. And if you select use photo with the photo that you've taken, that photo automatically appears in your pages document. Just like that, you didn't have to airdrop it, nothing. It just appears right in the document. So one little hiccup I discovered as I was using continuity camera is that when I would take a photo on my iPad, the image would appear in the document, but it would just be the full image. And then I would still have to go through the cropping and resizing a process masking it so that it fit into my template. So to counter this, what I did is I'm going to use a media placeholder. A media placeholder is an image that you can insert or assign in your document. And anytime you try to replace that image by dragging a new image on top of it, the new image will assume all the properties of the previous image, which means that if you design something in a template, let's say, let's say you create your template for your assessment tool, and you want to just replace one photo, you can just drag the new photo on top of the old one and the new photo will appear exactly as the old one to see. So let's take a look at what that actually looks like. So setting an image in your document as a media placeholder is actually really simple. First of all, you have to begin with an image in your document that's the right size and has the right mask as what you want your template to look like. So for example, this image here, this partner balance photo, that's just a screenshot I took that I resized to the right size I want it to be and add the right kind of mask to it, in this case, a rounded rectangle, so that it looked the way I wanted it to look within my template. So once that's set up, you're simply going to select the image, go Format, Advanced, Define as Media Placeholder, 
and now it's been assigned as a media placeholder. If you're like me and you like keyboard hotkeys, you can also select the image and press Command, Option, Control, I, and it does the same job. Now you'll notice here that there is a small image icon that appears and that's informing you that that image is a media placeholder. So what that means is that if you scroll out and grab any image and drag and drop it on top of your media placeholder, the image you drag and drop will assume the same properties as the placeholder, meaning it will take on the same size and the same shape. So once you've assigned this image as a media placeholder, now it's really great to be able to use continuity camera to just quickly grab a photo and have it appear exactly as you want it to look in your document. So same thing as before, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go import from iPhone or iPad. In this case, I'm going to use my iPad. And as you can see, my iPad automatically turns on. I'm able to grab the photo of my students performing their balance. And then that picture appears automatically in the document. So then I'm able to print and I just sent my students to our Xerox machine, which is right outside the gym, to go get their customized assessment tool. So that's how I used Apple's continuity camera feature to create super customized assessment tools for my students in phys ed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button down below. That really goes a long way in helping other people discover these videos. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future content that I push out on this channel. Once again, my name is Joey Fight from thephysicaleducator.com. Thank you so much for tuning in and happy teaching.